So yeah, here's no. how it works. Yes. Yeah. Quickly. Many of you could say this as well as we are about to. And therefore, we're going to say it fast. <laughs> you were non-physical energy before you came into this physical body. You were pure, positive, non-physical energy, non-resistant energy. You were consciousness and you had a very explicit reason for wanting a part of that consciousness to be born into this physical body. So here you are splat in this physical body. And now here you are exploring all of the variety around you, the contrast of what you are living, knowing what you don't want and therefore knowing what you do want. And with all of that deciphering, even before you were able to speak, all of that deciphering, even while you are able to speak, but may not be speaking about it, all of that witnessing of life, you are offering continual rockets of desire as you importantly come to your specific and personal conclusions about what you would prefer from where you stand that matters so much so you launch these rockets of desire many of them unconsciously not even realizing that you are launching them unconsciously meaning not speaking it out loud yet knowing that when someone's rude you'd like them to be nicer and knowing that when you don't feel good you'd like to feel better and knowing when you don't have enough of something that you'd like more of it and knowing when you've got too much of something that you don't want that you would like less of it in other words you are knowing you are sifting through and you are launching these rockets of desire and therefore usually unbeknownst to you you have created a vibrational version of the better world that you wish to live in the better world that you personally wish to live in where people are nicer to you and you are nicer to them where you are feeling free and so are they where you are in your differences co-creating with one another for the benefit of the whole where you are evolving as a species and as an individual so there is a vibrational version of you that we wanted to bring to your conscious awareness and so we became focusing on it pointing at it you say oh there's that invisible circle that Abraham draws on the floor all the time but we're wanting you to realize that there is a vibrational version we've even given it a name we called it at first your vibrational reality because it is a reality whether you are consciously aware of it or not and then we began calling it the vortex it's this place a vortex because law of attraction is causing this synergistic gathering of all cooperative components and so even though you've given birth to all of these components of a nicer world of a better world for you of more abundance of a better feeling body of, of relationships that are pleasing to you all of these things that you've been synthesizing from life and knowing that you want and launching these rockets this is a vibrational reality that that inner being part of you that we were talking about a moment ago stands as the full being of that you has become and even though you can't see it necessarily you do have the ability to feel it to sense it to know it through your emotions in other words you can feel when you're in sync with that you can feel when you feel invincible you can feel when you feel sure-footed you can feel when you feel divinely inspired you can feel when you're tuned in tapped in turned on and you can feel when you're not and this alignment, this allowing, this being, the vibrational being that you were born to be and that you have already created, this state of being is what we are today calling the receptive mode. In other words, it's your recognition, your conscious tuning to the frequency of that state of being. Now, what comes next? Jerry, Esther's beloved, who made his transition a while ago, Jerry was always talking to Esther about how do thoughts turn to things? How does it happen? How does this world exist? How do these physical things be? Where did they come from? How do they be? He and Esther read the Seth books for a long while before they began having this Abraham experience. And Seth said, you create your own reality. And Jerry said, I accept it, but how? Seth said, your point of power is in the present. And Jerry said, I sort of kind of get that. But what do you mean by that? And then we've spent all of these nearly 30 years since that explaining how it is that you create your own reality. How do these thoughts turn to things? How does the vibration that you have launched just through the living of life, how does it become a vibrational realization? How does the idea turn into a car in your garage how does 
the desire of your heart turn into a relationship that is so fulfilling and satisfying? How do you get these things you want, get them in the fully manifested way? And as humans, you've struggled with this for a while, especially those like you who label yourselves as more of the spiritual bent. In other words, you war with one another over the materialistic world versus the spiritual world. And we want to say to you, there is no more spiritual world than this fully manifested world in which you are living. Because this manifestation is the promise of what you call spirit. This manifestation is the leading edge of the thought that you were born thinking, you see. And so we want to help you be deliberate in your creation. So this message has evolved over time with your help with the help of your asking and today it's going to evolve further and tomorrow further still because you are a group of those who are really on the leading edge you are a group who are asking new questions from your now understanding of who you are we want to say to you that you were source energy before you came into this physical body and now that you're in this physical body you're sifting this order and you're launching new rockets and you've created a vibrational reality pretty fast huh you have created a vibrational reality that really is everything that you want so far but there is a vibrational reality that you have not if you are like most normal humans there's a vibrational reality that you have not allowed yourself yet to witness to realize but you could with just a little vibrational tweaking you could if you understood that this is a vibrational universe and that you are a vibrational offerer and that your emotions tell you what you're offering vibrationally so in these days that are today and tomorrow as we are chewing together with you it is our desire that you come into full knowing of how you can bring from this vibrational reality that we are calling a vortex into your full experience all of these manifestations that you desire we want each and every one of them to be experienced fully by you but even more important we want you to have fun in the conscious deliberate turning of those thoughts to things we want you to take pleasure in achieving a vibrational integrity with what you want. We want you to become a master at maintaining that vibrational harmony with who you are and what you want. We want you to maintain, and it is a mastery that's required from practice that we will do together, a vibrational harmony with what's in your vortex or in your vibrational reality that then will allow law of attraction to move you through time and space in an exciting and fulfilling adventurous journey where you will know for sure the importance of you where you'll feel for sure the blessedness that is you and most of all from our perspective you will feel the togetherness of us with you in the unfolding of all of that we want you to realize that you are not alone. We have been haunting you and you don't even know it. You are not alone. We are with you in your thoughts and ideas and desires. And it is our knowing that all things that you have consciously realized that you desire are very close to becoming fulfilled in that full manifestation way. And we want to show you how. In the early days, we said to you that if you have a desire that you believe, then it's done. If you want it and believe it, then it's coming into place. You're witnessing the unfolding of it right before your eyes. And so that's really what we want to talk most about as we are playing with you in these hours together. We want you to realize that there is an absolute process of your thoughts or desires turning in to experiences. We want you to feel what it feels like to have launched lots of pieces of it sort of like putting the ingredients of a cake into a pot so as you put each of those ingredients in it was not that satisfying flour is not thrilling <laughs> as you dump that stuff in a little bit at a time still it's just a sort of gooey mess but with the right understanding and with the right ingredients and with the right temperature you can turn that 
stuff into something that is truly pleasing. And while this analogy is scanty, we want you to get the sense that you have been putting all kinds of ingredients in your vortex pot. And it's time for you to cook it up into something that is really pleasing for you. And that's really what we're going to be talking about. I want to help you mold your vortex. Better said, mold yourself into compliance with your vortex so that you can realize all of the things that you've already created.